Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. To be fair of you, you have to have a vampire at Halloween. Otherwise, is it Halloween? Two products inside one door. Beetlejuice. wonderful day today. So in today's video I have something very very different. Not only are there Christmas advent calendars but I came across a Halloween one. So this is by Funko Pop and this is the Beware 13 day spooky countdown. I know you guys absolutely love Funko and I thought why not? It looks really interesting and I think that this is a brilliant advent calendar to collect for Halloween. Just picture it, you can create a Funko scene, a Halloween scene in your home and you can keep them for the following year and the year after that and the year after that. Just a little spoiler alert, I will be showing what's inside this advent calendar and if you like it I've left the link down in the description so you can shop away. And as Halloween is just around the corner, get yours as soon as possible. I absolutely love the design. It looks like a graveyard. Is it a graveyard? It is, here we go. Well, it's like a haunted house next to a graveyard. Okay, day number one. So they're packaged up nicely. Reminds me of those toys that you used to get in cereals, but then they got banned. We have Freddy Krueger first up. I absolutely love his hat. I have a thing for these kind of hats. Um, he's wearing a stripy top, green and red, quite festive, may I add. But we have Freddy Krueger for door number one. Day number two. I recognise this girl. She is from Beetlejuice, I believe, and I can't remember her name. Nevertheless, I absolutely love her hair. I love the spike. I love the little veil she's got on. Again, she looks quite festive. I just think these are so cute. Perfect for Halloween. Door number three. Something from The Shining next. I can't remember his name, but I love his axe. When I went to Thought Park a couple years ago, they had this actor that just looked like him and I actually thought it was the real person. He looked really scary. So he's holding his axe, he's got blood on his forehead, the perfect Halloween, Halloween? Halloween figurine. That rhymes. Day number four. We have Pennywise. I find him the most petrifying Halloween character that there is. I mean, he looks a little bit like Chucky and it looks like he's holding, I think he's holding a beaver here. Does anyone else agree with me? Like, he's so scary, isn't he? Look at his yellow eyeballs. Oh. Day number five. A character from The Lost Boys and he looks just like a vampire. He looks a little bit like Draco Malfoy if he was a vampire. To be fair of you, you have to have a vampire at Halloween. Otherwise, is it Halloween? Day number six. The Exorcist is next. Oh my God, just look at her. She looks like someone from Walking Dead. She has green slime down the front of her dress. I mean, she seriously needs to clean herself up. And her mouth, what's going on with her mouth? Looks like it's stitched shut. Day number seven. We have Michael from Friday the 13th. Oh my God, look at him. He looks so evil. He is holding some sort of knife with blood on it. I mean, very Halloween. Wearing his mask. Um, Yeah, this is a freaky character. But here we go, we got Michael. Door number eight. Beetlejuice! Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice! I'm joking. I haven't watched that movie in the longest time ever, so I definitely need to watch it again. I remember having a striped blouse, which was black and white, and everyone used to take the mick of me and say that I looked like Beetlejuice. Say number nine. We've got to have Annabelle at some point. She freaks me out. Oh my god! We have Annabelle! I have watched Annabelle and that film is one of the scariest films that I've ever watched, well for me anyway. Um, oh my god, I, I, I mean do I really want this in my house? She is gonna be the perfect addition to 
my little Halloween setup. She is scary. Door number 10. The little shop of horrors. Look at this dude. To be honest with you, he looks pretty, pretty awesome. He sat in his plant pot. Again, he looks like one of the cabbages from Harry Potter, in my opinion, but he looks pretty cool. He's my favorite one so far. Door number 11, the nun. Oh my goodness. She looks, again, very scary, and she's kind of like growling at me. I mean, chill down, girl. They really do have these characters spot on. Door number 12, we have another Pennywise, instead of the other one, I mean, he was holding a beaver. Hang on. Yes, he was holding some sort of beaver, but here he is clutching onto a red balloon. They're pretty much identical. I mean, with the red balloon, he has dark eyes more scarier than this one. Door number 13, the final door. Oh, you open it like a big door. Oh, we have two. Two products inside one door. Love that. Oh, I know what we've got. We have the two sisters from The Shining. Oh, wait, my other one just flew off. These guys remind me of my sister and I. I'm going to rename them Simone and Anushka. My real name's Simone, by the way, for those of you who can ask in the comments. They're both identical. They look like they've been shot in the chest. Um, these are cool. I have to say these are my favorite. There we go guys So that is the first ever Halloween advent calendar that I have ever ever unboxed. I really enjoyed it I think that these Funko Pops are really good collectibles um, I also think that they will make a really brilliant Halloween set. You can definitely repurpose the packaging I mean you could have it like this all stood outside the gates or you can push back in the windows and have them stood in front of the house. That would be pretty cool. What did you make of this advent calendar? Please drop me a comment down below. Now this one is being sold for £32.99 and the link to the website can be found down in the description. So I've just done some math to figure out how much each figurine was worth and it's really good, £2.53. That's actually really not bad. But as always guys, please make sure that you link, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye.